Hey guys, what a week. <laughs> um, and it's only Wednesday. Awesome. Um, I have lots of notes this time. I have lots of links to include. Um, they will be down below. Um, and I have lots of stuff to give away. So let's get started. Um, first, tonight, we actually got home uh, just an hour, a little over an hour ago. I took the youngest back to the doctor for a recheck with the pneumonia. Everything's clear. She's good to go. She's acting like herself, um, which lately has been a cranky three-year-old. Um, but doctor was happy with that. So good to go. Awesome. Um, Ethan, we took, no honey, stay down. Ethan, we took to, uh, kindergarten testing, I guess. Please stay down. Get down. Um, on Friday afternoon. Um, because of his age, there's the traditional kindergarten and then there's the two-year program geared towards the younger kids, those that are slower to warm up, that kind of thing. Um, and if you are looking at doing the two-year program, they make you do some testing, which consisted of meeting with a physical therapist, a speech therapist, a teacher, and... There was another type of therapist. I keep wanting to say occupational therapist, but that doesn't sound right. Anyway, there were four little one-on-one -on -one sessions that they had. Um, and there were other kids in there at, at the same time rotating. So we had the chance to kind of see some of the other kids. And... Um, Watching them with the physical therapist part and some, you know, they basically just taste testing basic skills, balance, walking a straight line, throwing a ball, catching, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but it really was interesting. Um, and I think Ethan is a lot more advanced than I thought he was, I guess. I don't know. Teacher came back and talked to us briefly. She said traditional kindergarten is going to be fine. So we know what we're doing with that. Um, we're just waiting for the official letter. So good to go. Um, Brian and I, hubby and I are back to working out in the mornings. Started back up last week. Uh, we skipped Wednesday uh, since Brian had to work overnight and then back at it again um, this week and we've done every day this week so far. So Beachbody On Demand is apparently my new best friend. Um, because of how much weight I gained my knees really even hurt just to walk, which is very frustrating for me. Um, it's something new. So we're doing a low impact program, high cardio, lots of, you know, staying moving the whole time. So I'm hoping that'll help me take some of the initial weight off and then I can do some of the other programs that I used to do and that I really enjoyed. A child is screaming something. Um, Yesterday, tax day, uh, taxes were done and filed. Hold on one second. What is the problem? I'll be there in a minute. Tax day was yesterday. We had our actual taxes done and filed a long time ago, deposited into our account already. Great, cool, um, except for sales tax. <laughs> I have a DBA from when I used to do a lot of craft shows and, and stuff like that. So I still have to send that sales tax form in, um, sales tax return in, or they'll send me a letter and tell me I'm super late and here's your overdue fine, which is dumb. The one year that it happened and said they estimated that I owed 740 some dollars, I sent it in showing that I had collected no sales tax for the entire year and they didn't ever come after me, so whatever. But I did it um, yesterday on the last day and I dropped it in the mail yesterday morning. Um, partly because of my uh, epic filing system for all of our important papers uh, that consists of opening the mail, throwing it on the desk, and after six months moving it to the dresser in the bedroom. Um, and maybe after 18 months or two years, putting it in the accordion files. So that's cool. Partly my own fault, but I had to find my identification stuff for that stupid sales tax. But it's done. Out of the way. Um, hopefully everybody else got theirs done in time and you got refunds and didn't owe. 
Um, oh, new items that are, I'm, I'm going to have new items loaded in my Etsy shop. The link is below. Um, I've got the mini, the mini scissor fobs. I need to get some better pictures of those and get them on the site. Um, as well as new um, Color Street nail wraps. Those are going to be in my VIP group. I've got a bunch of them heading this way. Um, I'm going to hold off on taking pictures though because I just ordered, um, it, it's a round light and it clips right to the top of your phone. I think they're LED lights. And it's, you know, like a selfie thing, but um, you can put this light facing out when you're taking pictures of your stuff, you get much truer colors, um, less shadow, less, you know, like that kind of thing. So I'm really hoping that it works. It was only 10 or 11 bucks on Amazon. I'll give it a shot. And I was actually thinking it might actually work for filming videos. Uh, it could clip right to the top of my iPad and maybe that way when I'm showing projects, showing haul, showing whatever, it may work to show uh, better color. So we'll have to see how that works. But once I get that, I'll get some good pictures to set up in Etsy. Uh, so you can see truer colors for the scissor fobs and the needle minders that I have in my shop. Um, and then again, the nail wraps too. Um, and I did, ha I did put a link below um, in for my Facebook group, if anybody's interested, I do. I know a couple people have mentioned the nails, so I just wanted to put that out there too. Um, next page. Let's see. Oh, my, you know, outside of stitching, my other stress relieving craft has been the painting with diamonds, and I got my second one done. Ta-da! Super shiny. I don't know how I'm gonna finish it. I'm kind of thinking one of the kids might like it for their room, but I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not framing it. They're weird sizes. I'll have to figure something out. But So that's cool. I've already got two other ones ready to go. <laughs> I'll probably take one to work tomorrow for break times. But um, I, I didn't put links below, but I have always gotten my uh, diamond paintings from either Amazon or I've used the Wish app um, on my phone, which is very inexpensive. However, I waited five weeks for my most recent one to come. So if you can find them on Amazon, watch to see which ones are eligible for Prime, which ones are sold directly by Amazon, because obviously you'll get those a lot quicker. Um, it, it lowers the, you know, the variety that's available but you know that's oh well up to you um i found a new etsy shop this week link below uh it's low lola lada shop lola lada shop uh ukrainian russian des uh, designer and from what i can tell it's actually multiple designers with cross stitch patterns the the patterns they're just gorgeous um I've noticed you can really tell which patterns come from some of those designers. It's a, a style almost all its own. I, I don't know, um, but gorgeous. So I put the link below. Um, you can check out that shop. And then there's also another shop new on Etsy, and it's one of the stitching community's own. It's uh, Stephanie, Ivy House Crafter. So congratulations on your new shop and on your designing endeavor um, it was posted in mania so a lot of you probably already know uh, she also has information on her floss tube which I forgot to link but I did link um, her shop on Etsy as well as the um, what's it called the the Facebook group I put the Facebook group and I didn't write the name down I think it's the Saxon band sampler SAL sale so check those out see if you're interested in that uh, I think that's about it for the week yeah we'll call it good um, floss tube I'm catching up on some of the regulars that I watch 
Um, and I also had some new floss tubes that I, uh, channels that I caught. So I'll have links below for the four new ones that I've caught on to this week. Um, Kitten Stitcher isn't actually new. I've watched Kitten Stitcher before, but it has been a long time. So I checked out her latest video. I forgot how much it, it's, it's samplers it galore. So if you have an interest in samplers, head over. Um, I also really like the kittens that play at the beginning of the videos, and so did the kids. <laughs> um, Backward Stitcher, new to Floss Tube. Uh, she's only got two videos out right now. So I started with number one. I'll have to catch number two. Uh, she is, I don't know that she's a new stitcher, just new to floss tube, I think. But she was talking about getting her sister and her sister-in-laws um, started on cross stitch and hopefully hooked. So hopefully we'll be welcoming, welcoming them to the community as well. Uh, Stitching Marie, she had a great... Um, bell you know beauty and the beast bell finish that i i really liked and she talked and i wish i had remembered to get the the uh pattern maker designer name um but she because she mentioned that there were other disney um disney princess um charts in a similar style and they were really cool and last was cupcake stitcher how have I missed Cupcake Stitcher for so long? I've heard the name and I finally actually sat down and watched. And I had her in my list of ones that I'm subscribed to. Um, but I watched her latest uh, and it was her fourth video. So now I have to go back and catch up on one to th one through three. Um, but um, awesome. Loved it. So um, let's move into FFOs. I'm, I'm kind of going quick tonight because I have the notes and because... I have a lot of stuff and um, when the videos are longer it takes all night for them to upload so we'll get going um, oh there was one other thing did I seriously miss yes uh, yesterday I think a lot of people have already caught it I filmed my first tutorial and it was on the score news and putting them together um, I don't think I put a I put a link to the video, the tutorial, but I did not put a link to the great the Score News Swap Facebook group, so feel free to check that out as well. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. I put all my links together earlier today when I made my notes. So, um, so yeah, I will... I'm open to doing more tutorials. I've had people request. I posted a picture of some FFOs that I'm about to show you, and I had a lot of people that wanted to know how I did them. So... I'm planning on doing tutorials, um, but they're going to be my way, <laughs> which means I will wait until I have probably 10 or 20 finishes, and then I will kind of assembly line go through them again, um, and I will use that to show the different steps, because the way I filmed the video last night worked great for me. Um, had some steps prepared, sat down and did it in one shot. I... It's not that I'm not willing to learn, but I'm not willing to learn how to stop, take another video, mash them together, do all the editing. I don't have time. So, um, there's another child talking. I might have to check on her in a second. Anyway. Um, I will do some more tutorials, so keep your eyes open for those. I'll try to, uh, let people know when I am going to be posting new ones, and I will be right back. Um, yeah, anyway, tutorials. Okay, so FFOs. These are the ones that I posted on Instagram. 
And I have my link to ins or my name link whatever to Instagram below as well and on Facebook. So if you haven't found me on social media, feel free. Um, these were the last of that big round of finishes that I was doing FFOs. So I have this ornament. This little bird was from a just cross stitch ornament issue, I think 2017. I don't have my notes for what I stitched, sorry. Here is the fabric on the back. And it's just gray, it's not silver. But then the cord I did use the silver and silver and white cord. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Um, the form that I put this on is actually an oval wooden shape from Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get a pack of six or eight of them and they're really, really thin. And I just have two of them. I stretched each side on one and then stand, you know, stuck them together and stitched them up. So that's my first one. Same finishing technique for this. And this was a new pattern last fall, Brenda Gervais, dog hair, dog hair glued in, cool. Um, and then here's the back, that fabric was just perfect. And then orange cord, and this was, the cords that I used were pre-bought. Same, same way, stretched them both on those ovals, stuck the ovals together, stitched them up, and put the cord on there. I have this one, Stone Street Stitchworks. I stitched this a while ago, and I just turned it into a little pillow. Woo! <laughs> One's jumping all over. And this is the fabric on the back, perfect for Halloween. And I didn't do any kind of trim on that one, I just wanted it nice and plain. I'm not looking at the camera again. <laughs> Another Halloween. This was from Stitchy Box. Must have been 2016, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it was 16 because I bought I bought it on Stash Unload. So, pillow finish. Found this fabric for the back, and the ribbon that I used. It's not actually. It's not the same. It, it's kind of like a linen almost. <laughs> Can't really see it. And then there's little purple beads in between there. And that's that like wonky ribbon or squiggly ribbon or whatever. It's the blackbird, does, um, no. Shepherd's Bush uses this, you know, with a lot of their pieces. Um, and I did have somebody ask me to do a tutorial on that. So I will show the way that I do it. There is one out on YouTube. Um, and I didn't think to grab the link. If I think of it tomorrow, I'll add the link below. And the last two are ornaments. This was my January ornament. Yes. I think so. I just did a pillow. A green fabric on the back with snowflakes. And I sewed the hanger right into the seam when I was stitching up the pillow. Did that squiggly ribbon on the side with some gold beads. Really happy with those. And last is my, I think this was my March ornament. I don't know what February was. I don't know. I am missing one. No, this was, nope, this was February. March was the Barbara Anna that I already showed. So here's my snowman. Snowflakes on the back. Same thing with the ribbon. And it was really funny because when I was finishing these two off, it was like I was playing chicken with the ribbon spools because on each of these, by the time I got to the end and put the last stitch in, I had this much ribbon left on the spool. <laughs> so at least I won. So those are my FFOs. Um, and like I said, I will do some tutorials, but it's not going to be immediately. Um, but I will get them. I will get to them. Um finishes. I have a crying child. I'll be right back again. Let me 
refuses to put a blanket on and then wants somebody to come in and tuck her in 30 minutes later. <laughs> um, finishes. You saw my diamond painting one. I actually have a cross stitch finish as well. And this was an unexpected finish. I can't show you the pattern because it's only a chart, no picture. This was my color and cotton kit, Marion Bright. Beautiful. Love that opal fabric. I picked this up on Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday. Sat down on the couch, picked this up, and I got the entire... This was not done, any of it. So I did the entire top row. The two over here. Finished the ampersand. Took out some of it because I counted wrong and fixed it. And finished the M. So... I got a lot done on Saturday. I, I don't know how long I sat and stitched, but it was awesome. So that's done. Um, whips, I, one of them was the Marion Bright that I worked on, but I finished that, so it's not a whip anymore. The only two whips I have right now. Oh, FFOs. I had my super secret stitchy project and the recipient did get that. If I can figure it out, I will stick some pictures at the end. But you can also find it on social media, it, uh, Facebook and, and Instagram. It was a pillow finish, it was a gardening scene at the top, and it had striped fabric on the bottom and on the back. I need patience tonight for these children. Um, whips. The only two whips that I have right now are my envelope swap and my Biscornu swap. Ethan, honey, I'll be there in a few minutes, okay? Envelope swap and Biscornu swap. Envelope swap is in timeout right now because I got a chunk of it done. I had to tear it out because I was off by a stitch. Got that restitched and then realized I was off by a stitch in two other places and because it's all symmetrical, I couldn't fudge it. Took it all out, put it in timeout. I do have the motif done on the front. I, I'm not taking this all the way off, sorry. So I have this done and I was moving on to the back. Man, this creased bad. And this is the start of the back. I still really like it. I love I love the colors and everything, but it's in timeout. Um, my Buscornu swap I started last night. Pulled the colors out of um, combination of dinky dyes and color and cotton. And uh, I'm not going to show a picture of what it's going to be. And this might be the only time I show it. And I'm using 32 count water lily jobelin. Very cool. It's stitching up really quick, too. I think I'm actually going to be able to get this side done maybe tonight, depending on how naughty I am, how late I stay up. So there's my whips. Plans. This was supposed to be April's Christmas ornament. I don't think I'm going to get to it because of the two swaps. I'm... I'm usually a procrastinator, so I'm really forcing myself to get these started and going and, and done as quick as I can. Um, so I may have to push this back into May. I may have to do two of them in May to catch up, or I may just not even worry about catching up because I have a couple of ornaments in my magazine mania. So we'll see, but I will do this at some point this year. Speaking of magazine mania... <clears throat> I pulled four more magazine charts that I am going to do for Mania, and I counted, and I think this puts me up to 30. I have to find one more. Actually, maybe not, because one of these patterns has a few their ornaments, so maybe I'll just do two of them. Uh, I'm not going to show you the front. This is my next super secret stitchy project. Here is another one that I'll be doing. And I think you can get this as an individual pattern too, right? Barbara Anna. 
Probably. Found this one. This is a Blackbird Designs in an old magazine. I'm planning on taking this to work tomorrow night and pulling the thread. I'm not sure if I'm going to stitch it on the blackboard linen, though. I'm not sure. I have... I have a piece of picture this plus barn wood that might look nice. I don't know. I'll have to experiment with that. And last is some ornaments. Well, they're actually greeting cards, but I'm going to turn them into ornaments. I'm going to do this one. And probably either this bird or this angel. So that'll be my last two. So I have 31 charts for Magazine Mania. Just need to pull all the fabric and floss before May 1st now. Cool. Cool, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the other part of plans, I did do a little bit of online shopping this week. Um, I got on da Down Sunshine Lane. So many people talk about down Sunshine Lane. I finally checked it out myself. Did a little shopping. Um, and I, I bought a piece of Picture This Plus Heroic. And I think I got 32 count linen. 32 or 28 count linen. I don't remember. I'm hoping... I kind of want to use it for Lady of the Flag. I'm torn. Part of me wants to do Lady of the Flag on a very plain, solid fabric because she's just gorgeous herself. The other part kind of wants to try it on something, a hand-dyed. Um, I'm afraid that if I use a solid fabric with how much cream, yellow, you know, white is in her dress, I don't want anything to blend. Um, I'll have to see when it gets here. If I don't use it for Lady of the Flag, I'll use it for something else or throw it on stash unload. I don't know, but I, I wanted to give it a shot. I also picked up a piece of Fiberlicious Moana, uh, Moana Mokani or something like that. That's the name. It's a very pretty blue teal aqua. It'll be perfect for a mermaid. Um, so I picked that up because I don't have any Fiberlicious fabric, so I kind of wanted to check it out. And I picked up a pattern. Apparently it's a market release that I just didn't catch before, I guess. Uh, Red's Treehouse. And I don't remember who the designer is. Was it Ink Circles? I don't remember. But it'll be here probably next week and I'll show you. Because um, I did get the notification that it's shipping, so... That is part of my haul, kind of. You'll see it soon. And I did put a link to Down Sunshine Lane in my comments as well. On to the rest of haul. Picked up a couple pieces of fabric at work last week. These are going to be in the two giveaway winners. So one of these is um, Jamie's Kilt Jobelin 28 count. Uh, it's a fabric by Steph. And the other one is 16 count splash Ada. And I guarantee that's a picture of this plus. It's very soft. <clears throat> I also picked up, this is a new color by Weeks. Santa Cruz. And this is not, this camera is not doing this, this color justice. This is why I'm hoping that little light that clips onto the phone will, will really work for this because this is a gorgeous blue, and you can't tell as much as it is. So if your shop has gotten the new Weeks Dye Works colors in, Santa Cruz. Awesome. I don't, I don't have anything to use it for. I just had to have it because it was pretty. Um, and then I picked up 32 Count Light Mocha Belfast. I picked this up because this is my, my fallback, I think. For Lady of the Flag. Ethan. Just give me two more minutes, buddy, okay? I love my children. 
but this always happens on the nights that I tell them you need to lay in bed, you have books, you have cars, I have to do my video. I shouldn't say always because they they have been good for most of the weeks, but I, I kind of knew tonight was going to go different because of going to the doctor earlier. Picked this up at work, the next in the, the Score New series from Tiny Modernist. Love it. Picked these up. Noah's Ark. I don't know if I'm... I think I'll stitch some of them. I might not stitch all of them. I will stitch these two. I might not do the bees, but I'll do this. And I think I'm going to stitch them this way and do a bell pull. I'm not rushing to start that. Sue Hillis, buttons and lace. I have so many antique buttons. I'm going to go pull out some of my favorites, some glass, some shell, some plastic, all kinds of mix. Put them in there. Might change the colors. I got my color in cotton order today, my uh, floss of the month. Beautiful colors, very rich. There's purple iris, Bermuda, hazel brown, golden ale, and antique rose. And those colors look great together. Uh, rem I posted in Stitch Mania when I did that huge floss shop at shopping at Joanne. I couldn't remember what I got these colors for. Somebody pointed it out for me. I signed up for the the specialty stitches butterfly stitched along with Lakeside, so that's what they're for. <laughs> Give me two seconds. I had too much haul left to do, and I knew he was going to keep yelling. <laughs> Picked up the next, oh no, this came in the mail. Next issue of, issue of Cross Stitch Crazy. I don't know, one of these is a freebie. Either this pendant or this card. Can't remember which. Could probably look at the pattern in here, but whatever. And this is... This caught my eye. I really like that. Kind of thinking I might do it on like a hand dyed, like more chalkboard look though. Um, I can't show you this one because it's one of just the little charts. And then these bookmarks. So cool. I was thinking I could even turn them into cards. The black work. Very cool. I'm excited about those. Those are done by um, Leslie Tier. <sighs> too much stuff. Cross Stitcher. And I think I saw Stitcher used to do a um, flip through of this. Um, that is cool. Someday, right? Someday I'll get to all of these patterns. And then, of course, the next, you know, just a little April. Cross Stitch Favorites Hobbies. I picked this up mostly, well, not mostly, but partly. For this pattern. Bowling ball and pins because last year I wanted to do a bowling ornament as Ethan's ornament for the entire year. So I'll have that to do. And then these. I 
have to stitch something, one of those, all of them, for myself or my mom or something. Love them. Oh, and this was a cute little alphabet. Pretty little birds. I went to Staples and did some printing. <laughs> Let's see, what did I print? I printed this awesome chart from Awesome Pan Panda. <laughs> Awesome Pattern Studio on Etsy. And they must be awesome because I bought it twice. I think I remember saying. This is Mandala Tree. I'm really excited to stitch this one up, see how it goes. Um, what else did I print? What else did I print? Let's see. Oh! I printed some of Stitcherovia Quotes to Live By. I think I printed, looks like I only printed the border that first month. Nope, I printed the first two. Here's the picture. I printed this one as well. I'd like to get this started and, and going. I, I really do think it's beautiful. Printed this with Scornu, and then when I was going through my magazine charts, found this printed in black and white, so I have it twice. I can't even remember which digital files I have that I print. It's really nuts. Printed out this one that I purchased on Etsy. Anybody know the movie? It's Elf. Uh, this is from Plato Squirrel. It's right down there. Very cool. I'd love to have that done for next Christmas. Printed out Mermaid Song by Sub Rosa. I didn't print it in color. Sorry, guys. I printed the chart in color, apparently, not the front. It was kind of silly. Samantha by Ship's Manor. Hoping to use my color in cotton in there. Or maybe even some of my um, dinky dies. These are freebies, so I can totally show you. Um, I got these right from the website, Plum Street Samplers blog, Holy Night, another complimentary pattern from Plum Street, and so he came, I printed out the first part of Well, I, I printed out the welcome pack, and then I also printed out the first part of the specialty, specialty Stitches Butterfly Sale. This is going to be awesome. I can tell already. Um, <laughs> and all of these pages are this. I don't know when I'm going to start it, but when I do, it's going to be amazing. Gotta find good fabric for it. You know, I really do like that Staples has their printers, you know, set up where you can, sorry, I'm shaking the table, where you can uh, print from your flash drive, you know, and do it yourself and all that. But good God, are they slow. It took forever. This <laughs> stuff falling out. All of these chart books cost me one dollar and seventeen cents. So I had to rescue them. Why not? 
your stitches. I mean, these are old and they are in really good shape. Let's see if it has a date. Copyright 1978. I can't really even show you any of these because it's just charts and it is old school. I mean, like colored with marker charts. We'll see if I find anything. Um, and then count your stitches, the first one. Here's a picture, actually. Oop. Santa and Mrs. Claus. 1975. Chicken scratch. It almost looks like... Is it specialty stitches? I can't tell on this one yet. Kathy, Frosty Snowman, Care Bears Alphabet, the Unicorn Sampler. This one's kind of rough. It's folded and creased and everything else. I think I uh, would actually stitch this. Not the sampler part, probably, but the unicorn or the unicorn and the maiden. Another Kathy. <laughs> Crayola, that kid looks thrilled to be wearing a crayon shirt and posing for that picture. <laughs> Look, they cut him out of the back and said, you're fired. Let's see, Garfield? This is plastic canvas. Yep. I love Garfield comics. They were awesome. My brother still has all of our Garfield comic books. I might stitch a couple of these little Garfield Christmas. Let's see if there's pictures in here. Oh, yeah, pictures. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice or something. I like that one of Garfield hiding in the tree. That's the one that catches my eye. Or Garfield and Odie. It is Odie, right? Yeah, it's Odie. Enchanted Unicorn. Bunch of different unicorn patterns. And designs by Gloria and Pat. Love one another. So yeah, for uh, buck seventeen, I don't know what I'm doing with them. Maybe probably just giving them away, but whatever. I had to rescue them, and all of them are in really good shape. The last of my haul is my expensive splurge that I talked about last time. Let me move some of this out of the way because I'm totally going to lose stuff in the couch. This was my expensive um, treat to myself that I discussed last time. That I found on one of the stash unloading sites. Hands-on design. This was a limited edition kit. Excuse me. With all of the linen and threads for this piece, in finishing items. This piece, as well as a fob and a needle book. I loved the saying on here, my needle and thread, may they never part. It's the key to unlock my stitcher's heart. And I, I really like, you know, the style, hands-on design style, Kathy Haberman style. So I, it was a no-brainer when I saw her uh, floss tube and she was talking about it and by the time I saw it they were sold out I mean there was no way I could get one so I jumped on it when I saw it on that site it came with the box and everything um, the gal shipped it up but sh shipped it <laughs> you know got it in a flat rate box really nice for me um, so I didn't have to worry about anything getting damaged um, 
I'm really excited for this one. I think they paid a, a fair price for it, too, to be honest. I don't remember how much it originally was, so I don't know. I don't believe that it was marked up. If anything, it was marked down. So, I'm okay with it. That is it. That is not it. <laughs> we have some important, important stuff to finish up with tonight. Namely, big giveaways. So, everybody that commented, I've subscribed. I ignore this. This is something different. That's the Biscorni swap. I have written your name down in order. One through, I think 76, 75. So I have everybody's name. Oh, really, dog? Sorry, dog bumped the table. <laughs> I might have to record this separate. Dog, come on. I need to use random.org, and I just realized that my phone is in my daughter's room. She was using it for music. So I have nothing to, I'm not prepared. I have nothing to use for random.org. Let me creep in there and see if she's sleeping and I can snag the phone. Otherwise, we'll have to do this separate. Okay, she's out. Let me figure out how to get rid of my clothes. Get rid of everything. Come on. Okay. I'm going to do numbers for um, the two big giveaways first for the 750 subscribers. Um, it will be a zippered pouch. I am, like, looking frazzled today <laughs> one of one of these fabrics will be in each or this will be in one bag this will be in the other and then I'll have some other goodies in there a mini scissor fab from me um, the some some floss patterns you're gonna get a bunch of goodies I have three needle minders to give away as well those didn't require any specific comment um I just realized my list doesn't contain everybody it only contains who said I've subscribed we're gonna do the three needle minder giveaway next video because I need to go back redo the list and add in everybody that commented period so we're just going to do the two tonight. I don't want to short anyone on the chance to win that because I did say that anybody that comments will be included in that drawing. And that was the three little pocket tokens that I got on my trip to Atlanta that I'm going to turn into needle minders. So, um, random.org. Random number generator. Come on, come on, come on. Turn the screen down on my phone so I can show it to you. All kinds of alerts. Okay. Why does it say random name generator? So we have one through 75. So minimum one, max 75. This is just putting the limits in, so three is not actually what I drew. Generate 63 is Sharon Hilton. I think Hilton, H-Y-L-T-O-N. And I will comment on 
or reply to comments to let people know that they are winners. So we've got Sharon and number two, number 70, Melinda Harris. You can see that over there. So congratulations, guys. Um, I did also include my email in the notes down below. So you can email me your um, addresses so I can ship those out. I have a ton of stitchy stuff that's going out this week. I've got the two winners. Um, I'll have to do the three needle minders. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow because it's just going to be a quick thing. Um, I've got a couple other random gifts to send out. So I'm going to the post office with a bag full. Um, all right. We're good to go. 51 minutes. Kept it under an hour. I did it. I'm going to put everything away. I'm going to start uploading this video and I'm, I don't know, I might just crash in front of the TV, but I want to work on my Biscornu for my exchange a little bit more because it's stitching quicker than I thought it would. So I'm pretty happy. Um, next week I'm going to have some really cool haul. My first fabric and floss of the month with Victorian Motto sampler threads. Victorian Motto sampler stuff <laughs> is on its way. It shipped. So I will have that. I will have the Down Sunshine Lane order that shipped as well. Um, color and cotton I won't have yet. I did order some random threads from there, but I had them ship it with my club, which means it's not coming until I get my next fabric of the month. So um, that'll be, you know, end, end of the month, beginning of next month. But yeah, I'll have some cool stuff. And whatever I find at work on Thursday night. So have a good night, guys. Thank you so much for entering the giveaways. Thanks for participating with comments. I loved chatting with people. Um, I, I love being able to meet new people that way. Um, so keep commenting. <laughs> Ask questions if you want. Whatever. Um, tutorials will be coming. Can't really think of anything else. That must be it. So have a great night. Have a great weekend. Get a lot of stitching done. Happy stashing too. Bye.